All right, guys, so I bought two refurbished Xbox Series X consoles straight from the source, straight from Microsoft. We're going to unbox them, test them out, and see if they work and see if it's worth buying a refurbished console over a brand new one. So first of all, like I said, I bought two of these. I only have one here right now. We'll do the second one in a little bit. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is actually compare this box to the brand new box uh, from an Xbox Series X because they're both the exact same size. They just look uh, slightly different. So here they are side by side. Clearly, this one is the refurbished one and this is the brand new one. Really, the only difference here is the graphic on the front and the fact that this one says refurbished. Other than that, they look you know, pretty much exactly the same. And then here in the back, they actually do look a bit different. The brand new one has a Halo graphic, whereas this one is just a plain Xbox Series X. And by the way, I will be auctioning off both of the Xbox Series X consoles in this video on whatnot in a few days, so I sure hope they work. Uh, but check out the link down below to bookmark the show and get $10 off your first purchase. So let's go ahead and open up this box. The cool thing about the Xbox Series X is they have these little tabs you can pull, uh, but frankly, I still think they're a little bit too strong and when I tried it on my Xbox Series X, it pulled off some cardboard So I'm just gonna slice through them with a knife and even if you're not looking for an Xbox Series X I sell a lot of other stuff on whatnot and on my website So go check out those links down below if you're interested. All right, so now we sliced them open Let's go ahead and open this bad way up and the inside looks exactly the same as a brand new console Except for that right there. Why is that bulging? That's interesting. But let's go ahead and take this uh, console out and I'm very interested to see if they actually refurbished anything on this console. You know, it, it could be one of two things. They could have actually fixed something that was broken or it might just be a customer return and they're just selling it for a little bit less. So you got the standard foam right here. You got your little uh, pamphlet down here that shows you how to start up. And by the way, a uh, refurbished console from Microsoft costs $470. So you're only saving 30 bucks by buying refurbished, but I'm pretty sure it has the same warranty and everything. And I'll see what they included here. So we got our power cord, our HDMI cord, and these seem to be very a very similar setup, except I don't think in the brand new box they're wrapped up like this. I think they're wrapped up slightly nicer looking. Uh, we also have our controller here, and that's a different insert than what came in the brand new one. So the brand new one comes with like a foam piece. This one is cardboard interesting choice and then here's our controller refurbished apparently but that looks pretty darn good there's no way that's ever been used before yeah so you can tell it's never been opened up or i guess they could have opened it up and put a new sticker on since they are microsoft they have all the access to those tools but honestly this thing looks like it's never been used and then of course you have a brand new pack of duracell batteries down there now onto the console as you can see it's wrapped up in, in the exact same paper here that's on the you know brand new one it even had this power your dreams little wrap around it like the original one has Let's see what we got inside of here. And so far, just from looking at the back real quick, that looks perfect. So now that the pesky wrapping is away, let's take a look at this thing. And just looking at the front real quick, I mean, like I don't see a single scratch or scuff on anything. Looks perfect. The buttons click like they should. I don't even, I see like three specks of dust here on the top. It looks really good as well. And then the fan looks good as well. I don't see a single speck of dirt on the fan or dust. And then I think here in the back is where we'll learn some stuff. So first of all, looks really good at first glance, but let me go ahead and zoom in on some of these labels here. All right, so here is the console and it does appear to be refurbished in some sort of way because it has a service date here. So usually that says manufactured date, I believe, which let me pull out my other console, the, the brand new one, and I'll show you the difference. So here on the right side is the back plate of my personal Xbox Series X. Well, I haven't actually used it in a while because I made, I kind of took the internals and put it in cardboard, which if you, if you have not checked out that video yet, I'll throw a link on the screen. It's pretty interesting. But as you can see, this one manufactured date was September 11th, 2020. This one says service date. And the label is actually a little bit darker over here. It almost seems like I, that probably means nothing, but uh, just something to point out. And another random thing to point out is that the, uh, the some of the logos and stuff have moved around here. So the UL listing on here is down there, but it's up in the corner on here. It also says Microsoft Redmond here, but it says brand owner Microsoft Redmond. I don't know. That's just random stuff, but kind of interesting stuff to uh, point out. So to be completely honest, the uh, service date here still does not completely you know clear things up for me because they could have just peeled off the original sticker and slapped this on and called it refurbished. Maybe it was a customer return, but you would think if it was a customer return in great condition, they would just kind of flip it around and sell it. Uh, without swapping out the sticker, but maybe it's part of their protocol. I don't know. I don't work at Microsoft, but just some just some thoughts. Because like, here's the thing: if you look at ports, um, it's pretty easy to tell if a console has been used much by looking at the ports. Usually, especially around the HDMI port, you can see like scratches all around it because somebody like you know usually you reach around, try to plug in your HDMI port, and kind of just poke around until you find it. This one does have a scratch down there, but that doesn't appear. I mean, I guess that could be a scratch from trying to find the HDMI port, but I, I don't know. Cause like, if you look at mine, look, look at that. Like you can clearly see some scratches around there 
because that's just me being lazy and trying to go around the back and plug it in without looking at it. So maybe they replaced the entire back plate and that's why there's nothing there. Maybe it was a customer turn. I, you know, I frankly have no idea, but we'll of course plug it in and test it out and see if it works. But let's go ahead and open up the second Xbox now and see what that looks like. So we have refurbished Xbox Series X number two. As you can see, the box is a little bit dinged up up there, but other than that, it's exactly the same. And like I said before, I will be auctioning off both of these on Whatnot. So if you're not familiar with Whatnot, it is a live selling app where essentially I'll get on and live stream. And at the same time I'm live streaming, I will sell video games, consoles, and I'll show it to you in person, show the condition and everything, and then you can bid on it in real time. So it's pretty straightforward. You just download the Whatnot app using my link. You'll get a $10 credit when you sign up. And basically once you make a purchase, it'll automatically apply. So let's say I want to watch this PlayStation 1 stream. So I'll click on this and I can see what he is selling. I can bid on it. I can also go to his store and do buy it now stuff, uh, which I actually have some buy it now stuff on my store. So make sure to check that out. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. And again, looks pretty much perfect on the inside. My dog will not stop barking. So first thing I noticed opening up the second box is you can kind of see some, I don't, it just looks weird. I mean, you're looking around the edges, you see these four little things poking up. It's clearly the bottom rubber feet, but this tells me this is not like a manufactured process. It tells me that people are manually putting these consoles in the box because the, f the last one was flipped around a different way. This one is flipped up this way. The brand new ones I've opened before are all flipped the same way. So yeah, just something to point out. And here we go. Here's our uh, wrapped up power cord and our HDMI cable. Okay, so we have an HDMI cable that actually is brand new on use because it has the original uh, little wrap. Whereas this one just has a twist tie. So this one looks like it's been used. This one looks brand new. And of course you got this little regulatory guide again. And also you have the little cardboard insert there. And then we have our controller here, which let's see how this one looks. So this one also looks pretty much brand new. I guess they could just be throwing in brand new controllers with the refurbished system systems i'm not sure but that thing just likes it looks perfect it looks like it's never been touched all right so opening up the second console we also seem to have a service date here so we're zoomed in on the sticker on the back now and this one also has a service date of june 29th 2022 which is the exact same service date as the other one which i guess makes sense because i bought these both on the same day um, but again, this one looks perfect on the back. It just has a service date sticker. So even over here on the ports, like I just don't see any scuffs or scratches on those ports either. So I just, I don't think it's been used or either that, or it has a brand new backing. Not sure, but these things just look perfect. Well, let's go ahead and look at the other sides of this. So we have all four rubber feet. Looks perfect there. Flipping around to the very front. Almost going to drop it, but that looks good as well. Buttons all click. I don't see any scuffs or scratches at all. And then here on the top looks really nice as well. And then of course, just looking at the fan, I don't see any dust or dirt or anything. So I don't know what they're doing with these things, but they just look exactly the same as a brand new console. So let's go ahead and plug these two consoles in and we'll make sure they work. So we have console number one here on the left, console number two on the right. Let's go ahead and turn on console one and see if it works. So we do have life on the console number one. Let's go ahead and turn on the controller, make sure we can connect up and it is already synced. So let me go ahead and uh, sign in and everything and we'll come back. So we are up and running now. That actually went pretty quick. Of course, I had an update, but uh, fortunately, my internet is pretty fast, so it didn't take too long. All right, so here we are on the main screen. Looks good so far. I'm going to put a game in and make sure that the uh, disk drive works. So I have LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga right here, which I still have not played that much of. I need to finish it, or not even finish it, just play it some. But All right, so that sounded fine, I guess. It sounded a little odd going in there, it, but it might just be because of haven't played the Xbox Series X in a while. So the console is currently installing the disc and it's also downloading from the network. So we know the internet is working um, and we know the disc drive is working so far. It did sound a little bit odd. So I'm gonna go ahead and eject it again just to see what it sounds like. I think it sounds okay. I think it's just cause I'm not used to uh, ejecting a disc very often. So I just kind of forget how loud that noise is. But honestly, there's not a whole lot else to test on the Xbox Series X. I mean, we can go to our controller settings and make sure my controller is working so we go down to test mode we can test out all the buttons so far so good everything feels nice and like i said i mean it feels absolutely brand new uh the controller just it feels great so i'd say this first console is good i mean the console looks perfect the uh, controller looks perfect works so far i mean we'll see how it heats up when i play some more games but uh you know frankly they probably just left it exactly the same as factory i don't know if they actually refurbished anything but uh, let's go ahead and try out the second console now so the second console is on now and updated and signed in and everything. Let's go ahead and put a game in and we will make sure the game works here. So I just put the game in and started installing it and it sound the disk drive sounds pretty weird. Let me go ahead and put the microphone up next to it.
Yeah, it sounds weird, right? I mean, I guess it, as long as it works and it doesn't matter too much, because frankly, these new consoles don't use the disk drive that much. They use it to read the game, and then they basically download the rest. I guess they install it from the disk still, but that is a pretty weird noise. I'm going to go ahead and compare it to the, uh, the other console. So kind of weird, I started messing with this thing and I realized that it only made the noise when it was flat on the ground. Like if I lifted it up, it didn't make noise and if I put it on this side, it does not make noise. So I'm almost wondering if there's like a dampener against the disk drive that keeps it from rattling with the case and I wonder if that like did not get installed or something happened, but uh, just kind of odd. It still is working fine. So by the way, I did boot up and play games on both consoles just to make sure a game would work. And I mean, overall, these consoles are great. They look great. They look pretty much brand new. The only issue I saw was when I showed you that it uh, kind of the bottom vibrates a little bit on the second console when you when it's standing up uh, vertically. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out the link down below if you want to buy either of these consoles from whatnot. I'll be doing a stream in a few days, so make sure to check it out. And thanks for watching.